Okay, so trying to get the rest of this car and back in epoxy. I've been sanding the the rest of the car here. Uh, I took my wing off so we can do that. Check out these bugs on here. Yeah, that's not going to be good. The light is right above us. They go to the light, they must land on the bulb. It must burn them up and then they fall down. So that's not good. I'll have to get them all off there. And uh, probably would not be a good idea to paint this thing above this light. So I uh, found, uh, I actually didn't find a ding. I knew this ding was there. And after doing some sanding, uh, found it again. So I got some on that. Uh, there's another one down there. So I got to sand them out. Otherwise the, the roof here I believe is all sanded out and it's ready for epoxy, a second round of epoxy anyway. Um, got to work on, I got most of this sanded here, I got to work on this here. Deck lid I got sanded most of it. A rear quarter here has got to be sanded, I think I got most of that so. We're looking good. Once I get this all sanded out, I go down to the rockers and, and make sure they're okay. And hopefully tomorrow, I'll try to do it during the day when uh, the gnats aren't out. And we'll get this back in epoxy. But I'm going to start, uh, probably going to vacuum all these bugs out of here. I mean, look at them bugs. This was clean when I was sanding. So on the roof there, I'm using my long Durablock here with uh, 220 on it. So I'm not, not going too aggressive here. But I do need to sand that epoxy. It's been over five days. You got to sand it once you, you go over your five day window. So everything in any epoxy that I'm going to spray again has got to be sanded. I found, I don't know, eight or nine dents sanding this thing down. That uh, I found a couple down there. Found two on the roof. There's a couple on the other side here that I found. And then one in the door jam I'm working on. But uh, it's going to do it for me tonight. Come back tomorrow, hopefully finish it off. And uh, hopefully we'll get some epoxy before the bugs go crazy again. But uh, yeah, I'll be back at it tomorrow. Okay, so we are ready, finally, 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 ready to spray this with another round of epoxy. I've got got it all sanded off and I just vacuumed it. I've been using this old vacuum to vacuum off my dust instead of blowing it off and it's really helping to keep down the dust in the shop so we're going to going to be priming the, the lip of this and Probably some of the underside of the trunk a little bit too this time. But I just got to clean it off. I got to repair some of the, the paper around the car. So I don't get overspray on everything. But hopefully tonight I'm going to get this taken care of. And I see I see a few bugs. There, but I don't see any more above the light, so I think we're going to be good. I'm going to start uh, prepping this, wiping it down, then we'll start covering stuff up and start spraying. Okay, so I finally got the car all wiped down and uh, I believe it's clean. I'll probably go through it, blow it off one last time before I, I paint. 
but I'm always talking about uh, wiping the car down before you paint and just want to show you guys what I use. I use this stuff here, uh, Nason, Quick Clean. Uh, it's made by uh, Exalta. They, they bought out DuPont a while ago. And I get this at the local car quest where um, you used to be able to get uh, DuPont paint and also the Nason, which is just the, the DuPont off brand. And then they, they stopped selling it, and then now I guess they're, they're reselling the paint again. So, uh, any auto parts store that sells paint should be able to get you some sort of uh, prep. Or, or cleaner that you can wipe down your surfaces with uh, before you you paint so I'm ready to paint gonna mix up my Eastwood epoxy that I have and gonna start spraying this thing Okay, so I've got the epoxy back on the car and it's looking good. I have found a, a few more areas that I don't really like the looks of, so I'll be working on them. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. Good enough for what we're going to be doing with this thing, so I'm happy. We're gonna move on. Probably uh, while I give this three days to kind of cure before uh, doing the fill in primer, we're probably gonna put the, the lowering kit on. So that's probably what's gonna happen next. So I guess that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. I got nobody to blame but me